G'day guys, this is JR and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the once dominant striker from Spain, Fernando Torres. Okay, so looking at his face card, we can see that once again he's been downgraded to an 81 overall striker with 80 dribbling, 79 pace and 79 shooting. If we delve deep, you'll find that his top three include 84 shot power, 83 volleys and 82 ball control. He has three star skill moves and a four star weak foot and he does have the all important finesse shot trait. He has both medium attacking and medium defensive work rates. If we compare his stats to other strikers in the Serie A, you'll find that he has the 6th best overall card. Okay, so moving in game, you'll find that Torres uh, isn't spectacular, but for the amount of coins you're paying, he's extremely effective at scoring a few goals and assisting. He isn't brilliant at anything in particular, however on the flip side, he isn't really bad at anything. The things I did like about him were his finishing, positioning and passing. Starting off with his finishing, his in-game stats say that it's only uh, 78. However, when you include the finesse shot trait, it feels a lot higher than this. I personally think that any striker with the finesse shot traits uh, feels so much easier to finish with inside the box, and Torres is no exception. He, he was pretty good inside the box with his 73 strength. It was more than enough to keep defenders at bay while he uh, fired off a shot. The next thing I enjoyed about him was his positioning. Now I know his work rates aren't the best, however I was playing him in a 4-3-3 formation and found that when I was cutting him with wingers and taking shots, he was always lurking for the rebound. With that being said, I also thought that his passing was really good for a striker. In the 22 games I used him, he scored 11 assists for me, which I think it's a lot for a key striker, but I guess due to his work rates, occasionally leaving him a bit behind my wingers allowed him to pass it off for them to convert. If I was to sum up Torres, I think he is exceptionally good for the price you're paying. Like I said, he isn't blistering with pace, but when he's inside the box, he's really good at finishing. I've been working on my criteria, and when I marked Torres against it, I scored him a 7 out of 10. He didn't score well when it came to defensive pressure inside my attacking half. His work rates and skill moves were also so-so. I gave him 10 out of 10 for the price. Like I said, for the coins you're spending, you're getting a very nice semi-complete striker with not much downside. So there you have it, Torres. I hope you enjoyed this review. If we could get a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.